today we will be today on cooking with gombar we will be making spinach copita or spinach, greek spinach roll-ups now our first step is to saute onions and put them in and put them on our we're going to saute spinach and onions until they're kind of limp, like a monster trucker's penis. Okay. Now, I've already got my... Now, here, I've already got my... Here, I've already got my olive oil. So I'm going to... I'm going to add the onions. Add the onions and the spinach. And stir them around with the spatula. The spinach right here. We're going to add it to how much spinach? Eight ounces. I'm going to add eight ounces. Hold that. down. We're going to have the whole thing. And it's going to shrink down. So we're going to... Back to the bag. Now we're going to have it... So while this is gonna work cooking gonna, down, now while this is cooking down, we're gonna, gonna flour your work surface. Flour our work surface, okay? Now we're gonna. Add some flour. I'm going to add table. some flour. Okay, we're going to add some flour. Add some flour right here. I'm going to add some flour right here. And I think our spinach is cooked down enough. And I think our spinach is cooked down enough. So we're going to... You see it? We're going to turn off the oven. We're going to... And now we're going to preheat our oven. Now we're going to preheat our to oven. 400. <coughs> to 400. 400 degrees. And line baking sheets. And line, ba and line baking sheets of parchment. Line our baking sheets with parchment paper. So in our large bowl, we're going to put... So in the large bowl, we're going to put... The spinach mixture. Spinach mixture. Scrape it out into your bowl. Well, 
got a large bowl here. Now we're going to salt and pepper to salt taste. And pepper to, to taste. So just sprinkle a little salt and pepper in there. Couple shakes. Yeah, a couple shakes of pepper. So now you are going to mix in. So now one we're going to mix in one cup of mozzarella. Mozzarella. And we're, yeah, we're not using the feta, so we're going to substitute some shaky Parmesan cheese for the feta. So, so we're gonna add two cups of add two cups of mozzarella. Substitute. We're gonna add our feta or parmesan. A tablespoon of garlic powder. Tables and a tablespoon of garlic powder. Oh, oh darn! That's why you have to. Eat. All right, let's scoop a little bit. Out. Just be extra garlicky, and that's all right. I'm glad it wasn't the pepper. And then, how much of the dill? Teaspoon of dill. A teaspoon of dill. And we're gonna mix that up. Okay. We're gonna mix it up. Mix it up real nice and good. As you can see here, our our mixture is coming out real nice. Now you can just now you can just see that that nice that nice delicious texture. That everyone is talking about. That everyone is talking about. Alright, so now you're gonna set that aside. Mm -hmm. So now you're gonna set it aside. Grab your phyllo dough. Grab your phyllo dough. And you're gonna mm -hmm. roll it out onto your floured surface. Unroll the whole thing. See this paper? With the, where the paper is to unfold it. And what the paper guys do on how to unfold it. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna 
Now we're gonna unroll our. Now we're gonna unroll our dough. It's still a little frozen. Now, what does it say? Roll out the pasta pastry a little to flatten the edges. So, I think we need to unroll. No, I think this is fine, actually. I think this will work. So, it's as flat as it's going to be. So now, and then you need to so now scramble we, up this egg okay. and then brush it with the so egg. So now wash. we're going to beat an egg. So now we're going to beat an egg. So now we are going to beat an egg and brush it over our pastry and brush it over our pastry a little. Now once you have your now once you have your hen fruit all stir stirred up. Brush the entire surface of your filo dough. We're gonna we're gonna brush over uh, brush the whole surface of your dough, making sure to save enough egg for the for the end. Make sure to save enough. And yeah, it's fault. It's breaking up. So instead of brushing, we're gonna dab. Yeah, this is some crazy dough. It's fine. It's all gonna blend together. It's this middle section here that I'm that out and just stick it somewhere on there. Right. You don't want a taste omelet in there. You're not. That's why we're not using a lot. So your next step is to spread your spinach mixture so over gonna, that whole surface. So now we're gonna so now we're gonna spread our spinach mixture over the, the whole surface of our dough. Make sure to get an even coating. Make sure to get it all evened out. Yep. Make sure to get it all evened out. Spread out nice and even. Should get it all spread out nice and even. Like so the next, the next step, step is to roll. roll. No, we're gonna roll the sh from the. It says from the short end to roll this oh, way. Sure. So let me get it started for you. Now my assistant is rolling. My assistant is going. flaky dough. I think we probably should have used fresh dough. This was old and it was in the freezer for a while. So we're going to roll it the best we can. Okay, seam side down. We're going to discard all the loose stuff because that's just going to be that way. And now you're going to want to no. get one of your foil lined sheets. Yeah. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slice these into somewhat mm -hmm. cinnamon mm -hmm. We can edit this out. No, we can't. Mm. Uh, I was trying to put up. Okay, Simon can help. And we're not getting my face because you have it closer now. Remember? So, do you want help cutting these? Because they're very hard to cut and keep them from falling apart. So, no, that's way too thick. 
You want them like this and you have to saw and hold with your fingers without, you can't push down. You have to just go lightly and let the knife do its work. Good, without cutting through your counter. Here. Oh, these are gonna be a mess. This one's okay, I think. So now we have... This one's okay, I think. Let's just cut right through the bottom. Go ahead and talk. So, so here we have... So here we have our, our thin the roll thing. It it's actually kind of complicated. I mean, turns out file it is not that easy to work with. Actually. Cooking isn't always all about perfection. It's about learning and experimenting and having fun with it. Let's see what we can do to salvage this. This was a crazy recipe. And like I said, I think with fresher dough, it would have worked a little better. That dough is old. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your egg wash and just kind of Dab around the tops. You told me what, but you told me that it, I wouldn't. There's not enough egg there for you to taste. It's just so that the bread turns brown in the oven because it won't without having some egg on it or something to actually react with the heat and brown it up. That's what's going to make it nice and brown and crispy. You will not taste it. So now we're going to... So now we're gonna brown our once I yeah, so once I finish the egg wash, they're gonna go so in the oven. Once I finish the hen fruit wash, they're gonna go into the oven for around twenty minutes. At four hundred. At four hundred. This is why I don't eat French toast. <laughs> so that because it's the oven practically for smothered in it. So into the oven it goes for around... Okay. I'm going to set a 
timer for 20 minutes. Set a timer for 20 minutes. 